So we need to get this. Can I? Can I have your attention, everybody? Now, I know we all said a few words in the church, but I just want to say a few more. Just a farewell to my darling wife, Linda. Where was I? Oh yes, Linda. I can remember the first time I met her. It was, it was unreal. I can't even put it into words. But I had this feeling. A feeling I've never had since your mother. She was kind, funny, and I just knew. You know, since your mum passed away, Steph, I never thought I'd get that feeling again. <laughs> it's all right, Dad. It's all right. <laughs> Because she loved you guys. More than you will know. I was quite worried at first what she would be like with you. For oh God, Steph, she loved you from the minute she met you. And she was a wonderful mother. She even gave us another boy. So, join me in raising a glass to our Linda. A beautiful, caring woman. God bless her soul. Hear, hear. <laughs> Do you know what? <clears throat> I didn't want to disturb you at the church today. You know, with it being God's house and all. But. We couldn't let you see it off without saying a few words. See, you all thought she was a decent, caring woman. But the truth is, she wasn't. This woman would go out drinking for days, leaving two little boys to look after their little sister, who wasn't even walking yet. This woman thought discipline was putting out cigarettes on her kids <laughs> to teach them a lesson. Fuck. <laughs> you know what? You see, this woman, she left us, left us. She abandoned us. She made her fortune and ran off. She left us with a father that despised those kids even more than she did. So you know what? You can all sit around and you, you can tell all your happy, wonderful stories. But you know what? It doesn't make up for what she's done to us. And I'll tell you something. I'm glad. I'm glad she's dead. And I hope she fucking rots! Shut your fucking mouth! Do you want to go, little man? Yeah, maybe I fucking do, yeah!
What's all the shouting for? Pass me the phone. What for? I need to ring Stephen. Yeah. All right, okay. Well, what does that mean? Sorry, did you say that this was just a few days ago? Yeah. I knew it was a bad idea. But we needed to go. No, I'm pretty sure it was you that needed to go. I mean, you're the one who got everything off his chest. Oh, so you may think the same thing then, Darren? No. There's a time and a place, Thomas. We're grown men. We can't just go around fighting in pubs on a Wednesday morning. I think we're past that sort of thing now, don't you? Look, you men did need to go today. I never forced you into it. But we had every right to be there, just as they did that. Yeah, but picking a fight with that family isn't the smartest idea. You of all people should know that. Yeah, well, I wasn't picking a fight with the family. And that's, that's the end of it. Yeah? What, you think they're going to share the same opinion? I couldn't give a fuck what they think, to be honest with you, Darren. The way I see it, I've said my piece. And that's that. That's that. Fucking right, that's that. Thomas, I love you. You're my little brother, so I've got to look after you, but... Things are different now, okay? I can't follow you down that road anymore. I've got a wife. I've got a kid. I can't just... Oh, Dan, just stop. Just stop, for fuck's sake. You're always overthinking things. Well, I'm not trying to be funny here, Thomas, but after what happened last time, I can't help but overthink things oh, right now. Oh, Dan, just chill. For fuck's sake, nothing's gonna happen. This is the Murphys we're talking about. Right? Do you think they're gonna let that thing slide? And what happens if they bring Stephen round? I couldn't give a fuck about Stephen. If he knows what's best to keep well away from here. Anyway, are you forgetting who you are? Who I fucking am? Fuck off! What are you talking like that for anyway? Grow up! Oh, Darren, don't patronise me. I'm not a fucking kid, okay? Stop talking like one then. Look, I know you better than you know yourself. And I've seen this hate of the mum build up over the years, but you've let it go now, okay? So put it behind you. Start afresh. Move on, go out, travel, see the world. Just don't do what I think you're gonna do. You okay, Mace? What's up? That was the funeral director. I wanted to see if Mum left anything behind. What, you mean like a will? Yeah. Well, did she leave one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course she has. She left everything to them bastards. Are oh, you taking the piss? What did she leave? 800k. Oh, my God. In cash. oh fuck off! Yeah, and he bought everything fuck. to collect it. Of course they are. Look, okay, we get a solicitor, all right? We, we, we try and arrange something. Oh, you really think they're going to share us after cash, do you? Oh, well, if they don't, we know whose fault that is, don't we? We know? try and arrange something. We must be entitled to some of it. It's entitled to some of it. We should be entitled to all of this. I don't know how she could do this, though. I mean, it's like us three weren't even born. She hasn't even left anything for that. Yeah, but she wouldn't leave anything to that prick. Yeah, but she left us with him, didn't she? Fair enough. Look. I can try and make a few phone calls, but there's no point. It's all there in writing, she's left everything to them. Yeah, well, we'll just take it back then, won't we? Oh, you can't be serious, Thomas. We fucking deserve that money. Not legally. Oh, fuck all that, Darren. Oh, well, well, here we go again. What did I just say? Yeah, well, it's different this time now, Darren. We're the ones who've suffered. We're the ones who have to protect our Maisie when Dad was coming on pissed every night. I mean, I don't remember anyone else doing it, do you? Thomas, Thomas, I couldn't give a shit about the past anymore, okay? But if we go... Whoa, whoa, we! There's no we in this plan. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Maisie. There is no plan, okay? But if you go through something like this, you're going to start something that isn't going to end very well. Yeah, at all. You know what? You know, if this was a few years ago, I would have said, yeah, come on, fuck it. Let's go and take the bastards for all you've got. But things have changed now. We've all changed. You can't do this all, Maisie. Oh, why do you care, Thomas? She is dead. The only thing left for you to do now is just move on. No. It's not all about you, Thomas. She fucked over me and Darren just as much as she did to you. No. If you go through with this, I'll come with you. Did you not hear what I have just said? Yeah. And yeah. Let's just put it behind us, eh? 
Let's just forget about it. Well then, thank God for that. I'll put the kettle on. We can sort out a date tonight, yeah? Okay, I better be off. Well, tell Tracy, I hope she's well. Yeah, I will do that. Uh, tell Maxie I said hi. I will. Bye. Maisie? Yeah. Come on, I'll come with you. Where are you going today? Go on, mate. See you later, watch out. Can I come in? No. I just want to talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to you. I think you've done enough talking today, don't you? What do you want, Stephen? I just want to come in and talk to you. Five minutes max. I won't kick off, don't worry. Yeah, well, I'm not worried about that. You've got five minutes. Place. What do you want, Stephen? I heard you and our kid a bit of a scuffle. Sorry I missed it. I only went to sort some business out. Then I come back and find out World War III had kicked off. So I just want you to know, after today, a lot of people are pissed off with you. Oh, you mean your family? Oh no, not just them. You see, word got out about the O'Briens crashing the function of a funeral and beating up a bereaved husband. That's bullshit. I didn't even touch him. Well, it doesn't matter if you touched him or if you didn't touch him. The point is, Thomas, you made my brother look like a fucking cunt at his wife's funeral. And that's not on, mate. That's not fucking on at all. And just so you know, what happens next, it's on you. Well, just so you know, Stephen, if anyone goes near my brother, or my sister, or any of their families, it's not just you I'm coming for, but I'll come for all of you. Is that a threat? That's a fucking fact. Trust me. Well, that's fair enough. I'll see myself out. Oh, and by the way, keeping one eye open won't help much with what's coming. So you best sleep with two open. 